A computer programmer has predicted the end of the world. Well, by the end of this year. Supposedly this month, December 2016, there will be an event. Jesus will return, destroy the earth, and of course the good people will go to heaven. And this computer programmer, oh, by no coincidence, is also a fundy Christian and a conspiracy theorist who thinks that there's conspiracies everywhere and that the prophecies of the book of Daniel are coming true in this time. And that's how, through his complex calculation, he's worked out that December 2016 will be the end of the world. The problem, of course, is that they're using the idea that the book of Daniel is accurate and that the calculations they do, based on that book and indeed others, are in fact valid by looking for particular mathematical, well, points they can use to try and calculate when the end will come, or trying to use prophecies or supposedly fulfilled prophecy elements to basically say that something is or has taken place and therefore Jesus is going to be back very, very soon. Indeed, predictions happen every single month of the year. You have some predictions somewhere by someone saying the end is nigh. And some people pick a date. They say, oh, uh, December. Or they say, oh, no, it's January. No, maybe it's April. Maybe it's June. Maybe it's next December. And the list goes on. And if it's not Christians doing this, it's Muslims or certain aspects of Judaism, Hinduism, or whatever the case may be, saying that the end is nigh. They don't need evidence. They simply need to follow their mythology and come up with some kind of system to say, oh, it must work. Because intelligent people come up with intelligent reasons to believe very stupid ideas. Failing that blind belief will basically mean that people follow an idea, even if it is irrational. A person who's been in a fundamentalist Christianity background for quite some time, perhaps the whole of their life, of course is going to accept the ideas. And if they're a conspiracy theorist who sees all sorts of patterns everywhere, including actions of Satanists and New World Order and evil Illuminati, well, they're going to use that to support their worldview too. But of course, if you'd like to read the article, the link will be in the description.